Hi Stampers, my name is Sandy Hancock and I want to welcome you to Utterly Awesome Stamping. Today I'm going to be showing you a card called the Cute Card. Let me show you what it looks like. It is just the cutest thing. When you fold it up, it fits right into a regular envelope and then you can turn it around and write a note on the back of it. Isn't that just so, so cute? Okay, so let me reposition the camera and we will get started. Okay, so let me show you a couple of other ones. This one, I use the flowers um, for every season paper and just jade. And then I used Blushing Bride. This is again flowers for every season. And then I did Misty Moonlight, one of my favorite in colors. Again, flowers for every season. And then the one I initially showed you. This paper is actually from Plaid Tidings, black and white, which is always one of my favorites. Okay, so let's get started. What we're going to do is take, I have some instructions I'll put down here. Um, I, I don't think I'll be covering them up the whole time. You're going to start with a piece of cardstock that is 8.5 by 8, and you want the 8.5 inch side along here. All right, so now we're gonna score at two, four, six, and eight. Then, so that's all the scoring. Then you're gonna take out your cutter and you're gonna cut at a perpendicular. So you're not cutting with the score lines, you're cutting the opposite direction. Let me turn this around and see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off two two inch pieces. So there's my first and then we'll do one more at two inches. On my cutter I actually put cut. I wrote the word cut on the cutter blade and score on the scoring blade because it's so easy to make a mistake, isn't it? And cut when you really want to score. Not fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip these over so that, you know, when you score, a little crease is created. So I wanna put on the back some tear and tape just on the one half inch flap. And I'm gonna do that on all three pieces. Then I'm gonna take the bone folder and you want to make a really nice fold on each one of these so that when the box goes together it looks really crisp and nice. Make sure you get it lined up as you're scoring. I don't think that one was too good. Okay, better. Okay, one down. Part takes just a second, but not that long. Oops, that last one, I must have scored it crooked or something. It's not wanting to line up. Okay, last one. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is actually get together and form this box. And the easiest way to do this is once you pull off the tear and tape, lay down the side, the end, that has the adhesive on the upside, and then literally just lay it down on top of it like that. So yeah, don't try to, you don't have to try to do it like this, that's too hard. Lay it down and then just fold the top piece right over it. Makes it go together very easily. Okay, last one. There we go. Okay, so really the box is almost formed already. This is how it's going to look. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to see where the tab overlaps. I'm going to let that be the back. And then where the tabs overlap here, I'm going to put that piece in the upper back so that when somebody is looking at this card, they're not going to be 
looking down here and seeing tabs overlapping. It's not that big of a deal. So if it if you see it, you see it. Okay, so see where it's gonna go, and then just kind of push this forward, and you'll know exactly where to put the tear and tape. Two pieces are plenty to hold this little box together. So we'll pull off the tear and tape, try to. Probably the slowest part of the whole box is just getting the tear and tape pulled off. Okay, so then, okay, so I'm just gonna lay this down. I'm gonna move this forward and just lay it right on top, like that. Okay, one down. Now, let's position the second one. Second one's gonna go right here. So I'm just gonna pull it away, push it forward, and for me, I'm just gonna keep my finger there because it's too easy for me to get confused as to where I wanna put the tape, so that just makes it easy. More often than not, I'm working with colored cardstock when I make these boxes. But I wanna show you that it can be really cute with white cardstock too. Okay, so here we go, it's gonna go on this side. So I'm just gonna squish that down. As you're playing with this yourself, you will figure out pretty quickly how to do this. Okay, so there's our box. So now what I have is six little squares that we're gonna put on it. And the larger piece is gonna be one and three quarter inches square just fits right on the front. And then the second piece is one and one half inches square. And this one's gonna go right at the top. Okay, then we'll just do it all over again for the front. And the middle. Oops, that one didn't go on incredibly straight, so I'm gonna pull it up, move it. Straight is good, right? Straight is awesome. Okay, so here we go. This is flowers for every season. <clears throat> See how cute it is on white? So on this one, you actually don't need to add any extra to the back. I'll show you. Uh, and, okay, well let me just show you now. If you use colored cardstock and you turn it around like this, you can just add uh, three and three quarters by one and three quarter inch pieces of white cardstock so that you can write a note as you're sending out the card. But obviously if you're working on white cardstock, you don't need to do that. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're going to add our little tabs. And the tabs are three quarters of an inch by one and a half. And again, I've put tear and tape on the back of these. And we'll just pull out the tear and tape and I'll show you right where they go. These are gonna hold the greetings that you put on. And the first one is gonna go right here at the top. And then the second one, you notice they're folding in. Okay, so there you go. This little tab is what's gonna hold the um, greeting. And then we're gonna do the very same thing at the bottom. Okay, one down. This tear and tape works so well, but it does take Oh, a tiny bit of patience. Okay, so I'm gonna just squeeze this, the back of this, so that it exposes this and makes it a little easier for me to put it in. Then here goes our second one. There's not an exact right spot to put that in. Okay, so there's your second one. And then I'll show you the greetings that I'm using. The happy birthday comes from this set. It's called Peaceful Moments. It was a bundle with, um, Peaceful poppies. 
one of the poppies. Yeah. And then the greeting says, to a friend who makes me smile. Well, actually it says to a friend that makes me smile. I kind of wish it said to a friend who makes me smile, but we'll go with what's printed. Okay, I cut out the happy birthday with one of the Stitch So Sweet Lamb stamping this in Just Jade. And then what I'm gonna do is just lay this down and just position the happy birthday right on top of it. Boom, there we go. And then this one, oh, you know, okay, so on this one, I'm noticing that my tabs are a little bit bigger, wider than my greeting. So I'm gonna cut them down just a little bit and then I'm gonna add the greeting to it. So you can make that adjustment at the very last minute. Now, I forgot, normally what I would do if I were remembering is I would add my rhinestones to it before I add it to the card. It's a little bit easier. I'm taking my Just Jade Stampin' Blend because I don't know if you realize this, but you can color on your pearls, you can color on rhinestones, and other things too. And the coloring doesn't, uh, it doesn't wipe off. Whereas if you, um, if you try this, see this is a little bit trickier once it's already mounted. Uh, if you use, oops, don't go away, hello. Okay, well, I guess I didn't get the, I didn't pick up the, um, the glue dot, so I'll just do it again. This time I'll be careful to get the glue dot. Like I say, it's easier if you do this before you put it on the card. Okay, so there you go. And then again, when it folds up, it just folds just like that. It goes into the envelope and you've got plenty of space on the back to write your note. So these are really, really a lot of fun to make. They're simple, they're impressive, and it's gonna make anybody smile. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel by pushing the subscribe button below. If you're watching this on my blog, there is no subscribe button. So you can go to YouTube, type in Sandy Hancock Cube Card, and this will pop up, and then there's a button below the picture below the screen and it says subscribe. And then all the details will be on my blog today at sandystamper.com. So thank you so much for joining me and I'll look forward to having you back next time.